Hello Stamper, welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to share a simple card. Um, we're going to do the writing golf. I use, let me share here, the golf club die. So I use the golf uh, ball from that. That's going to be our corner or it can be our O. And then in the stamp set, this is the image that I use also for O. So we get two choice here. The letter, it's those uh, letter, they went 78 by one about the end letter pros. So I did this one with the Clubhouse uh, Designer Series paper. And this one here, I think it looked like grass. That is from the Tropical Oasis. So this measure five by three and three quarter. We're going to take this and we're going to mount that on a soft suede that measure five and a quarter by four. Don't worry about the measurement yet. Um, right below I get the direct link to my blog that you can get all the measurement and the supplies. Now to do like this is like the corner circle that I did in many cards. I get video on that. But if you see, it's the golf ball. And I decide to raise them. Like the other one, I used to put it flat. I thought raised up was better. Well, if you notice, these are not cut equally. So I decide I need to find a way to cut that equally instead of eyeballing it. So I cut an extra one of the, the golf ball, or it's one and a quarter circle. What you're going to do, just cut that out of a scrap paper or tin paper, fold it in half like this, and this is going to be for our corner. Put it in the back of your golf ball here, so that exactly in half, right? Cut that right in the center, follow this, so then you know you're very straight. Now you're going to take this again, and you're going to fold it back in two, so really it's full in the quarter here. Now you're going to take this piece, put it at the top here, or put it at, on top of your, make sure it's equal on the side, and then make sure it's equally here, and then we're going to follow our pattern. Now we're going to do this with the other one, so then you, we're going to get our four corner all equally, not only equally, but we know it's straight. Usually I just eyeball it and this, when it came to the ball because I was raising it up, this is going to help so much. So just follow your pattern. Anytime you want to cut something in half or quarter, it doesn't matter if it's a circle or a square or a rectangle, you fold into, that's fine, your center. Fold back into that's going to find the other piece of your center that from your F. Okay, now what we're going to do, I pre cut everything so we didn't have to wait, but the F I didn't put it together. So, first I thought I was putting the soft suede at the top, and I decided to put this is very vanilla, and I'm going to put it on top of the soft suede so it look a darker shadow in the back. The best way for that. I got my fine tip glue applicator, but in this, it's the liquid glue that I put because I like this little fine tip here. Many people say theirs get stuck. The trick to it, when you're done, you tap it down and you put the little needle right back in the barrel. Knock on wood, I didn't have no problem, and I've been doing that for years. You don't have to wait till your fine tip glue it's all empty. When it's about like a quarter down, you can pour your um, um, whatever it's called, the liquid glue. So I just put that in the back here. Now I like to use my silicone mat in the back that help me if I get glue on the side. And then you see my shadow, it's on the right, so all my uh, letters need to be on the right, the shadow. So now we get that. Let's do our corner. And I didn't pre-done any on that because I wanted to show you how I done that. So I'm using the tiny um, glue dots. And I'm putting it right at the corner of the designer series paper here. Oops. 
well it's stuck on my finger here let's see what we can do here here we go so I'm using the tiny one just because you have to be right in the center there and for me the tiny one was working better usually I would put the dimensional in the back of the what I'm popping up for this corner I find this a lot easier so now you're going to take a corner and you're going to go right at the side see I put my finger there to guide me and my finger there then I can put it up you get one done so we're going to do that with all four and the golf ball I um, oh this was not right okay, that's, uh, the golf ball are um, die cut with shimmery white just cannot be straight here here we go shimmery white now if you pass on the side let me share how I fix that I just cannot do it with the camera right in my view here it's kind of tricky here we go and then the other one make sure that you get the raised part facing up for the ball you can always maybe put a bigger one now that I know right in the corner a bigger one would work also now you can turn it in the back and you can see if you pass you can trim it or you can move it but see in the back you can see there I just going to push it down a bit here we go okay so now we got this done we're going to mount that on top of our card base that it's very vanilla here and we're going to mount that on top okay now this one I use the ball and I sponge on the side to give a little bit of a shadow this one here I stamp with the stamp set the clubhouse this one and I stamp that in um, memento and I color it with blends you see here it's gray granite that I color just to give a shadow so that would go there then we're going to place it and then uh, place it and then we're going to glue it I'm going to share what oh one thing very important you want to put uh, that away soon you're done because it's such a little opening you don't want it to dry and get clogged up okay what I done for because the letter are small I use just the side of a uh, dimensional and cut little strip here we go that's what I use for my um, dimensional you can use the small dimensional but you have to be just so right because it's going to show on the side so I didn't want it to show on the side so I decided to cut strip see how cool this is now before we decide to glue I want to align that here we go so now we're just going to remove the backing of this here you know what here we go Maybe when you try to rush it it's worse right okay now I'm gonna you want to make sure you're not seeing the the dimensional I'm gonna put the J here now this I put a little dimensional in the back of this because that's what I had on my desk but you could put the bigger one in the back they're the same thickness the big one and uh, not the foam strip though the foam strip are thicker than the dimensional so keep that in mind if you uh, you know use them both on the project when it's thicker than the other and then our F how simple it was right and I think it's very striking et voila and then inside I just use a strip when I cut this piece here of the tropical oasis I put it inside and put the ball now this one it's cut in very vanilla because it was right on top of very vanilla I use white for the inside so you get one in very vanilla and you get one in white 
here it's all in white except the balls are done with the uh, shimmery white and inside from this paper from the clubhouse paper I put a strip there and put that there so here it is an awesome masculine card with the corner that are the golf ball all the uh, measurement will be on my blog and all the supplies you get the direct link below or above and also right there at the top, uh, bottom right corner you get the subscribe button if you like what you see you would like to see more just subscribe thank you so much and have a lovely day bye bye for now